Hey there and welcome back to another video. For this one, I'll show you guys how to use Dropbox. This will be a complete guide taking you from the very start of the account creation process to showing you guys the basic features found in this amazing cloud storage platform. So as I've mentioned, Dropbox was one of the first pioneers in terms of cloud storage. It's an easy to use, reliable, and secure way for storing and sharing files online and over the internet. And of course, the first thing that we're going to do is to create our Dropbox account. Either start off with your own email or do what I did and simply integrate Dropbox with your Google account. Next, I'll talk to you guys about the different subscription features that you can use for Dropbox. You can either have a free account, a professional account, or a business account. Using each of these accounts have varying pricing models. So just choose one which fits your needs. Dropbox is also very generous with their free trials for each of these professional accounts. So simply choose a Dropbox model for you and go ahead and finish creating your Dropbox account. After creating your Dropbox account, you'll be brought to your homepage dashboard. From here, you can see the option to upload any files, create folders or different ways to organize your Dropbox storage, see the history of your activity with your account, see the recent items, and also see your most favorite items, files, and folders. Let's try creating something. Go ahead and click on the Create button. It'll open a drop-down list of all the things that you can create on your Dropbox dashboard. Things from a folder, a shared folder, an automated folder, even a screen recording can be automatically made just from your Dropbox dashboard. Let's try creating a folder by clicking on Folder. Here, you can set the name for your folder. And on the bottom part of this menu, you can simply drag and drop files already while creating this folder. But for now, let's just make a folder. As you can see, after creating a folder, it'll show up on the left-hand sidebar underneath your All Files option. To upload, you can either drag and drop the files you want to upload onto this folder screen or pick the Upload button on the upper left corner. We can go and navigate through our storage by clicking on the navigation button and icons as shown here. Simply click on Dropbox to go back to our homepage. From here, you can see all the folders shown for your Dropbox account. Dropbox will also suggest files, folders, and applications for you to choose from, depending on what it notices you use the most. Now, let's try creating another folder. When creating another folder though, there's an option to add automation. By adding automation, you can set what this folder will automatically do, case in point the name automation, whether organizing your content and converting files, setting names, etc. There are actually a ton of different automation features that you can use when making an automated folder in Dropbox. If we check the Setup Automation checkbox and click Create, we have an option on the next menu to add an automation to the folder. We can have it categorized to sort all files by a certain parameter, set a rule to even rename files, convert files to other file types like PDFs, choose an image format to convert files to, and choose a file format to convert videos to. It even has an option to automatically unzip files that you place into this folder. This is probably one of my favorite features that Dropbox has. Being able to automate anything that you put into an automated folder is really quite useful and intuitive. And it saves me so much time from having to rename and reconvert all these different file types manually. Another feature that I want to highlight is the fact that you don't have to only create folders or automated folders on Dropbox. From Dropbox itself, you can make different files as well. Simply click on Create, go to Document, and as you can see, you have the option to make either a Dropbox paper file, a Microsoft Word document file, or a Google Docs file. Same goes with presentations and etc. As you can see, there are so many applications that are integrated with Dropbox already, so feel free to explore and try and select your desired application 
just to try it out with this amazing cloud storage program. So let's say we want to upload a file. Whenever we want to upload something, we will see the progress on a pop-up window on the lower right corner of our screen. This will show you all the files that are currently uploading and the progress and history whether they're still ongoing or completed. Now, let's try showing you guys how to move files around within Dropbox. Here, we've made a new folder titled Storage. By simply dragging and dropping our file that we've uploaded into the folder, that's as simple as you can get when moving things around in your Dropbox storage. And of course, when you access our new folder, the file will be shown as shown here. You can also upload files by clicking on the Upload button again. A cool feature that Dropbox has as well is the ability to preview and open files from the Dropbox dashboard homepage itself. Simply select the file you've uploaded and you can view it on Dropbox's own viewing program. This will also give you the option to download and open the file in different ways. And conversion isn't just limited to automation on folders. You can also manually convert files by clicking on them and choosing the convert option. You can change different movie files and video files into .wavs, mp4s, movs, mp3s, etc. By opening the file and choosing the save as option, you can easily convert multiple files to multiple formats within Dropbox itself. And of course, click on the three dots to see a list of all the other features and options you have when editing and organizing your files. Now, sharing your Dropbox is really simple and intuitive as well. By selecting the file or folder we wish to share, choose the share option, choose the share with Dropbox option, you can choose to share this folder with anyone with this link. You can also set the link to be read only or give access to editing for whoever has that link. You can also choose the different folder settings before sharing. Click on settings to see the different settings that you can change for the folder. You can change its access, change the viewer info, edit the link for editing, etc. There are two ways to share a folder or file and you can either share them directly from Dropbox by inputting their email or creating a link that anyone can access. And there you go, that's really all there is with using Dropbox from the beginning to showing you a bunch of their basic features. If you guys have any questions or inquiries regarding this topic, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this kind of content. And don't forget to also subscribe to see more videos just like this one. That's really all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.